Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Welcome back to my channel everyone. Thanks for popping by, I really do um, appreciate you being here. This is for all the Fire Signs watching or if you're dealing with a Fire Sign, this is going to be very helpful for you. Um, but look, we're going to be looking at um, what your person secretly wants to say or what they want you to know and that they may sort of come out with today. So um, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also leave behind a like if you enjoy this content. Um, otherwise, I'm going to get straight into this. <clears throat> Let's have a look. This is for fire signs. What is your person... What do they want to say to you? We need to let each other go. Don't react when people mention you. Finding out the truth crushed me. I wonder if you are happy without me. Okay. <clears throat> There's someone here who's like one foot in, one foot out here, fire signs. And I feel like they have been hurt by you before, or there could be like a recent betrayal. There was there was some stuff that went on between the both of you and this person is is they're still dealing with it. Um I feel like this is someone who's trying to move on though, but they're not look, they're not completely successful um in trying to move on from you. Okay, there's 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 definitely some things they're struggling with, um and that they are unsure about. So I feel they're trying, they're trying to like suppress. I get a lot of um, this person trying to suppress their emotions. Now this could be someone that broke up with you or someone that tried to end things. Um, on some level, they feel like you actually would be better apart because something about letting go, I don't know if, you know, they are having issues letting go of the relationship or letting go of the memories even. It could be. You know, people struggle with that, and I feel like it's it's definitely heightened for them today. Um, I feel like you're going to pop up in a conversation, or someone like one of their friends or family members is going to ask about you to this person, and they're going to be super defensive in how they react. Um, it's like hitting a nerve. They're super, super sensitive. Even though I don't react, like, I feel like it's more subconscious, so I'm definitely getting someone that is suppressing emotions about you or they're trying to pretend they're not as involved or they're not as in love or whatever you had wasn't as special when really it was um this is someone who's checked up on you okay i feel like this is someone who has looked at your social media or they've seen you out and about and they're wondering if you are happier without being in in, in talks with this person okay they found out something about you here fire signs and it absolutely left them devastated like it left them shattered um so it is something they want to tell you and i feel like they might come out they might come out and um they're going to question you about this right they're going to come out and say look i heard this or i found out what you did like they, they, they're, they're going to lay it out this is someone who could be pissed Pardon my French, but I feel like they could be super, super angry, and there's a, there's a hype, hypersensitivity around this person. So I feel like they're in a they're in a bitter. I get that this person is bitter, okay, bitter at you, bitter at the situation. Mm. They're wondering if you're happy. Because for some reason on their end, you seem happier than them. And they're like thinking, did it even affect you? Like, how come you're not like this? How come you're not depressed? How come you have someone new already? Like, they are struggling to come to terms with why you've dealt with things so much easier than them. They can't seem to understand it. Okay, they don't, they don't really know what's going on. I get that they're confused. They're a little bit lost within themselves, um, fire signs. Okay, we need to let each other go. This is someone who keeps, it's like they almost keep saying that to you or they want to say that to you to see your reaction. It's almost like they're saying it because they want you to maybe come out and be like, no, you know, it's sort of like, okay, it could be a way of manipulating you into making them stay. Okay, they want to see how badly you're going to fight for them, fire signs. Smart person here. Okay, seven of wands, Leo energy. 
the chariot cancer definitely someone from your past you had a very powerful connection the unicorn is a rare lucky okay there's a rarity you're very rare for them you had memories or you did something together that was they'd never done before with anyone else six of crystals things are one-sided okay this is either you Okay, it's one-sided. It's after you're going off. It, it's like you're going after them. You're chasing them or they're chasing you and the other one isn't as interested. So someone here is super keen. And you might not be. Um, it's that Six of Pentacles energy. It could be Libra, Taurus coming through. One person's willing to do the hard work. The other one's sort of looking back to the past, literally looking back to the chariot. For some of you, could there be another person involved? I'm picking up like a love triangle where you're chasing this person this person's chasing the ex or it's flipped they're chasing you you're still looking back at your ex you haven't healed could be like this third party um they're definitely watching and waiting okay they're not making a move so it's like this person is probably sending you like really subliminal messages like what they're posting or what they're saying there's like a lot of subtext to context type thing and like they're super again this is like a mode of defensiveness seven of ones is is they're trying to protect themselves from you fire signs they're scared they're on like the lookout um strong cancer energy is coming through here which is telling me they're retreating back into their shell they're being hypersensitive you know cancers cancers are moody signs and you know when they're hurt they 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 get hurt okay they're emotional signs I wonder if you've heard of cancer here. You know, they can be spiteful too. I'm wondering if there's someone being a bit spiteful in this case. Um, hmm. Okay, strong earth energy. Again, this notion of six of cups, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's coming through. It's someone with a heavy water placement. And, or someone who's super emotional like they've cried in front of you they've broken down they've like just really been lost without you they're still dwelling on the past i feel like this could even be a past life connection almost like you had this you had this past life thing and it was super powerful. It was super special. And you almost felt like very familiar with each other. But the Ace of Crystals is here. There is someone who underneath it all, after sort of like, um, after the dust settles, I reckon this person will want something with you again. I think they would be open to another new chapter with the Ace of Crystals. I do. Um, and we've got these wings here. It almost looks like the wings of Isis. You can see traces of it. And she's all about rebirth. She's all about regeneration. So deep down in a very deep subconscious level, it may not be to the conscious mind, but subconsciously, this person would be open to giving things another go. They clearly would be open to regeneration. Look, it also could be that they need to undergo a rebirth right now. And if you, if they feel like you need to let each other go right now, maybe it's because they need, they, they've got to work on them, themselves. They have something that they need to do, that they need to fix about themselves in order to make your relationship work, in order to make this connection work for the both of you. So... Yeah, I get someone who's really portraying themselves in one light here, fire signs, but deep down they're like, like okay, what, what comes to mind is like on the outside, they're, they're cool, calm and collected, they're composed, they're non-reactive, but on the inside, they're like a crybaby, like they go home and cry and, you know, cry their little heart out, which is kind of sad, like there's a vulnerability um, and they're in that shell with that cancer energy. And then, but on the exterior... God, they could really fool you. They've got this just poker face going on, you know, but they're bluffing. They're, bluff they're bluffing fire signs. I don't feel like this is for real. I think it's just a coping mechanism. Um, 
I think in the past, if you've been like non-reactive or you've been very nonchalant about things, they're trying to mimic that. And really, it's it's flattery, it's imitation. We imitate uh, the people that mean the most to us. So I wonder if you've played a game with this person before and they're just trying to get you back for it. I reckon it could be that. Um, I'm going to leave it there though. So I do hope that has been helpful. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. And I'm sure we'll catch up very soon. So uh, take care and bye for now.